today we are going to talk about 10 things you didn't know about Bitcoin. Firstly, we have the mysterious creator. Now in 2009, a person or a group of people known as Satoshi Nakamoto introduced Bitcoin to the world. He vanished off the internet in late 2010. He hasn't been heard from since. Now just like his identity is shrouded in mystery, nobody really knows if he's even alive or dead. The only communication people had with him were through emails and forums. His Bitcoin wallet holds around 980,000 Bitcoins which makes him one of the richest people on the planet. Next up, we have the Satoshi. Now as a sign of respect for the Bitcoin's creator, the smallest unit of a Bitcoin is known as a Satoshi. One Satoshi is valued at around 0.00006694 US dollars, which is a very very low value. Now, to make one Bitcoin, you need approximately 100 million Satoshis. Now according to the current Bitcoin values, which fluctuates a lot, to make a dollar, you'd need close to 15,800 Satoshis. Losing Bitcoins Losing your Bitcoin address, which is also known as your private key, not only means losing your unique identification, it also means you lose all the Bitcoins in your wallet. Research shows that at least 60% of all Bitcoin addresses are ghosts, which means a huge chunk of the population that's using the Bitcoin network have lost their addresses. Now, these are the people who have lost their addresses and have no way to access their wallet. Liberland. Now, in April 2015, a micronation between Croatia and Serbia known as Liberland was born. Now, this was founded by Vid Jelka, a politician, publicist, activist, and the president of Liberland. Now, the official currency of Liberland is Bitcoin. Now, the government took this move, believing that Bitcoin and its underlying concepts of blockchain provides a secure and transparent method for recording electronic, financial, and physical assets. Processing power. The process of mining Bitcoins is an expensive process. Now, you pay a high toll to do this, like your money, your time, and electricity. Now, mining Bitcoins requires servers that are used for that specific purpose alone. Now, the faster you process the data, the faster the block can be added to the blockchain, and the faster you're rewarded with Bitcoins. Power consumption. Now, just imagine how much electricity Ireland consumes in a year. Approximately 5,000 kilowatt hour. Now, how much do you think all the Bitcoin mining farms together consume? 60 terawatt hours, which is approximately 6 into 10 raised to 10 kilowatt hours, which is a large amount of power. Now, the entire country of Ireland, which is the second most populated city in Europe and has 84,421 kilometers square of area, consumes lesser electricity than all these farms combined. Bitcoin ban. Now, although several countries around the world, like Canada and America, have wholeheartedly accepted Bitcoin, there are some that haven't. Countries like Bolivia, Iceland, Bangladesh and Ecuador have completely banned the usage of Bitcoins. There are also countries like India, Thailand and Iran who ask their residents to be careful while using cryptocurrencies. They haven't completely banned it, however. They do not accept it as a legal tender though. Limited number There's a limit to how many Bitcoins can exist in the market. This number is capped at 21 million bitcoins. As of this moment, 17 million bitcoins are already in circulation. To give you an idea, that's almost 80% of the 21 million already done. But don't worry, until 2140, we'll still have bitcoins to mine. This is because of how miners are rewarded. Now, miners are rewarded with 12.5 bitcoins for each block added to the blockchain. And every 4 years, the reward reduces by half. The next halving is supposed to occur in 2020, where the reward reduces to 6.25 bitcoins. The power of B. The terms bitcoin with an uppercase B and bitcoin with a lowercase B mean two different things. The only thing that differentiates the two into two completely different things is the letter B. The lowercase B in bitcoin refers to the cryptocurrency that is used to perform the transactions. The uppercase B in bitcoin refers to the ledger that stores information regarding these transactions. Faster than supercomputers. The world's fastest supercomputer, the Summit, works at 122.3 petaflops, which is nothing but a quadrillion floating point operations per second. Now, if you take the Bitcoin network completely into consideration, the processing power is about 80,704,290 petaflops. But the only thing here is that a supercomputer can do several different things. But the only thing the Bitcoin network does is add blocks to the blockchain. And with that, we've reached the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and have learned something new about Bitcoin. If you feel like we've missed out on something interesting that you've come across, let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.